Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here and this is a review of the Picket Mobile Photo Printer. You will receive the photo printer, a 3 foot micro USB charging cable, and an instruction manual. The printer measures 6 inches by 3 inches and 1 inch high. It weighs in at just under 11 ounces. It's just about twice the size of my cell phone. The printer comes pre-installed with a photo cartridge that has the ink and paper built in. To insert or remove the cartridge, slide the door in the side forward, then gently pull the cartridge out by the handle. The cartridge operates using dye sublimation and can produce 10 prints before it needs to be replaced. Before first use, charge the printer by plugging in the micro USB cable at the end. Once the unit is charged, turn the printer on by pressing the power button on the side. You'll need to install the mobile app on your iOS or Android phone. If you have an Android phone with NFC, you can use the NFC area to automatically open up the Google Play Store for the app to download, or just search for Picket Printer. After the app is installed, again, you can use the NFC feature to connect with the printer over Wi-Fi. If you don't have NFC, find the printer's network named DirectCube and use the password 12345678. In the app, you can print from a number of different sources. Camera allows you to take a photo with your phone's camera and print it immediately. Gallery lets you choose a photo that you've already taken. And video allows you to print a single frame out of a video on your phone. With any of these options, you can always edit your photos by cropping or adjusting the color and lighting before printing. Once the photo looks the way that you want, just hit print. So my first print didn't come out so good. For some reason, the print sheet jammed and the ink spool wrinkled and tore. I tightened the reel as best I could and reset the cartridge, and that seemed to fix it. But I was disappointed that I lost one of the 10 prints in the cartridge, since there are already so few. The printer will make four passes per photo. Each time it adds some color, and on the last pass, it puts a glossy seal on it. This process takes about one minute. When it's done, you can tear off the white tab at the end, and you'll have a fun, wallet-sized 2 by 3 and a half inch photo that's water and fingerprint proof. When compared to the image on my phone, there is a slight difference. The colors on the print aren't as saturated, and the print tends to end up a bit lighter than what I see on the screen, indicating that the contrast perhaps isn't so high in the printer. Even with a high-resolution photo, though, the prints didn't come out completely smooth. You can see a little bit of blurriness and digital artifacts that aren't present in the original photo. But overall, the print looks fine, and these are a fun way to hand out prints instantly at events and parties for folks to take as favors. You can also make inserts, cards, and notes for special occasions. Refill cartridges will cost you about $13 for a 30-pack of prints. So note that the price per print is a bit costly at a little over 43 cents per print, but you do get the flexibility of taking the printer anywhere and printing up photos on the spot. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.